In the last few months, I have discovered what I believe to be a plague. A plague which targets only these unique individuals. It's a disease which threatens to eradicate them all, and in doing so, deprives our species of its evolutionary advancement. Without this advancement, the challenges of the modern world, uh, global warming, terrorism, diminishing resources, seem almost insurmountable on our thin shoulders. The fate of humanity itself hangs in the balance. But with proper funding and research, we can stop the advancement of this disease. I urge each and every one of you to take up this cause, spread the word, and fight those who would keep the world from the truth. Thank you all for coming. Inspirational lecture, Dr. Suresh. I, I was wondering if I could trouble you for an autograph. Your father would have been so proud. So would your sister. What the hell are you and why are you following me? This isn't necessary. I'm nobody. Wait, you think I didn't recognize you? You've been at three of my lectures. Yeah. The company sent you the bag and tagged me. Yeah. Is that it? A year ago, I would have run, but not anymore. Well, that's good, because if you had, I wouldn't be able to offer you a job. I've been down that road before. It doesn't end well. Where will you go, Dr. Suresh? No one even believes they exist. I found your father's book in the parapsychology section, in between hypnosis and alien abductions. They don't take you seriously. They all think you're nuts. But not me. So, if you're really interested in saving the world, the least you could do is let me buy you a drink. Who the hell are you to judge who lives and who dies? If I'm not mistaken, you yourself tried to put a bullet in the brain of a man named Siler? He was a monster. Yes. And you were willing to kill him for the greater good. You acted on a moral imperative to protect your species. It doesn't matter one way or the other about Sila. He's no longer a threat. He's dead. And now you have Molly. You and Matt Parkman are protecting her. Now, we're not interfering with that arrangement. Far from it. We're offering to help you. We have resources to offer you, Dr. Surash. The, the plague you talked about, the disease which killed your sister Shanti. The virus. Yes. We have the funds you need for your research. Now, can you imagine what would happen if that virus mutated and crossed over into the general population? Look, the type of research you're talking about is extremely expensive. Trust me, that won't be a problem. Let's just say we have our own private Fort Knox. 